welcome back to the channel everybody I'm just on a quick update today uh, my last video we did the quick roof for sound Thunder to save you a lot of money um, you can get there's other brands out there obviously Dynamat stuff like that but some things I do I'm showing you how to save money not spend more money and okay and that's the way to do it spend more money on your suspension your brake parts your engine parts stuff like that quality stuff Quick Roof is good quality, there's no doubt about it. However, it's going to save you money compared to Dynamat and the other products. But the reason I'm doing a quick update today is to show you what I covered in three rolls. Now I did order some more, but at least this will give you an idea what you want to cover. Remember, this isn't about neatness and etching everything around your carpets going over it, but you want the sound deadening effect. So. Let's take a look. I'll show you what three rolls did. I'm waiting on two more rolls to arrive. And it'll give you an idea of how much you're going to spend. It's about 17 or 18 a roll. You can go down to my description there. I have a link to Amazon. I don't remember now without looking, but it's a lot cheaper than Dynamat. So let's take a look. All right, let's take a peek here. Here, I'll show you through the back window first. You can see that that is all done. All right. Now this was three rolls of coverage. I got that done, this done, that done, and that done. Now before I show you the rest, you don't have to do this, but I did. I did double layer because I want it sound deadened as much as I can get it. So the fronts and the backs here are double layered. So, and the best thing to do, we'll go over that in a minute with the heat gun. I did the battery train on the other side. I still got to do another layer over them, as you can tell. So let's go to the other side so I can show you. So I got that done there. Don't forget to poke your little holes in there for your seatbelt bolts. And the bottom part of the luggage compartment. And I got that done over there, your inner well, and then the inside panel. All right. And then I was able to get the inner well done on this side and one strip there and it ran out. But that was three rolls. That wasn't bad for all that I covered because you got to remember I did double layers on the floor hands. So you don't have to double layer. It's probably overkill, but for as cheap as it is to do, I, I decided to double layer it. And I could tell the difference when I had hit the floor. And I can't do a comparison now, but when I did this over here, I went to the other side, I tapped, it sounded hollow. This is more of like a thud. So, doing double layer on the floor pans, yeah, definitely. But that's just me. You do what you feel is right. But back here, I'm going to be all single layer. And remember, because once this is all done, i got to do the back here. Once that's all done and I clean everything up and put it on, there's going to be carpet there and then the seat and then the top cover. So, that's going to deaden it to begin with. Now, I still got to do, door's missing over there, I took it off. I'm going to take the plastic off. I'm going to leave the factory tar board on there since it's there, but I'm going to do it over top of it and put a coat inside the doors. Just to sound dead in the best I can. So, that's three rolls worth. Remember, double layered. If I didn't double layer, I could have probably finished the car up and been done. But, that was my choice to double layer. Now, when you're using this stuff, I use a heat gun. And what I really like to do, though, truthfully, is lay a piece down, make sure you measure, cut, do whatever, pull the backing off, lay it down while it's still partially stiff, you know, not too sticky. Once you get it in position, run the heat gun across it back and forth, and then it'll start to do what it needs to do, and then use your little roller on there. But that's it. That's uh, three rolls. Double layered on the floors, so that's what sucked up another roll is doing that. But figured I'd do a quick update on that. It'll get there. A couple days that'll be in. I'll do the rest. I gotta still uh wire wheel this side down, like the other side, the door jams. I'll show you what I mean. Like over here. That's all prepped and ready to paint, but I didn't paint it yet because I'm inside or doing that. I figured getting in and out a hundred times, I'm gonna just scratch it up. So that's that in a nutshell. I got a seam seal across the bottom. I didn't do it yet. So, seam seal of the seams if you pull the old stuff off like I did. 
that you do want to do that because you don't want crumbled up dried stuff on there. So I'm going to seam seal that and let it dry. And then in about five or six days, maybe seven, we'll be starting on the factory headliner, which would be in not so much of a fun job because I have a sunroof, which means it's going to make it a little more adventurous, but it'll be the same if you don't have a sunroof. You'll just see what I have to go through with having a sunroof, which I didn't have one now, but it is what it is. Uh, that's going to be a two or three part series, maybe four, because I want to be pretty intense with showing everything. And uh, my wife will be in that film clip with me, helping me. So I, I need help on it. It's too hard to do alone. So here's the heat gun I used. My daughter bought this for me for Christmas. This thing is brutal. Has your little, uh, it's off right now, I'm plugged in. Has your gauge back here with the temperatures. I'll see if Amazon has it. I'm not sure if it is. It'll be in the description. But this heat gun's nasty hot. It, it starts out and goes up to, I think, 1,500 degrees. And I know you think, well, 1,500 degrees, my damn hair dryer's that. No, it's not like this. This thing's nasty hot. So you got to be careful with it. And I'll be using that when I'm doing a headliner. You'll see what I mean. So that's that. Before I close out the video today, I got a lot of parts with this car. There's some, there's just stuff hanging all over the walls and boxes, boxes back there. Even up there in the rafters. <laughs> Check this out. This isn't for a Beetle. I don't know if you can see this, but it says Klaxon. K-L-A-X-O-N. That is an old vintage horn. Could be 6 volt. I don't know. I did hook it up to the battery charger real quick and cranked it down. I can't get it to toot. But I'm going to mess with it a little bit because... If I can get this old relic to work, I'm going to use it on the car somewhere. It needs all cleaned up and repainted, but no big deal. But, I mean, I don't know if I would put it on a bumper or not. But I thought that was kind of neat. From what I could tell, it's uh, World War II era. I don't know what it was doing in a box of vintage Beetle parts. I have not a clue that it was in there. Somebody must have threw it in them boxes by, by accident, I guess. I don't know. But World War II era horn. So I don't know what they came on. If any of you know, let me know. But it could be 6 volt. Probably is since it's that old. But I just thought that was cool. So, because here's the... Yeah, I have one here. There's the original Beetle horn. I got a brand new one. Like I said, I got so many parts with this car. It was crazy. So, I mean, I can still use that, but... I just thought it was unique and thought I would show you guys that. That's from World War II era. Very cool. I'm going to look it up and do a little research on it. So, something neat. So that's that today. It was just a quick update. I wanted to show you how much three rolls got you. And like I said, you don't have to double layer your floors if you don't want. I chose to. The more sound deadening, the better. And I think too, because we've gotten spoiled with newer cars now. So when you get in your newer car and you get back into your old Beetle or Chevelle or whatever you have, it's like, wow. Well, you make them the best that you can, but remember they're vintage cars and they've been here a long time. So do what you feel is right. I double layered the floors. If you only want a single layer, go ahead. You know, I'm not looking for extreme comfort, but I want it to be the best that I can make it. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll be into headliner adventure very soon here. So that'll be an interesting two or three or four part series, whatever it ends up being. So, hey, thanks for being here, guys. Share the channel if you can, if you'd like to, if not, it's cool and uh, stop back soon. Thanks.